You see, Berkeley wants to build housing here at People's Park. But community members and students have made it clear time and time again, that's not happening without a fight. If you're a Cal student watching this, get to the park. They've been here day and night, all week long. This is our time to save People's Park. When the university put up fences to collect soil samples earlier this week, they moved unhoused community members' tents. So students set up their own. We belong here. This is our home. It's been the same fight for over 50 years. The university wants to build, and the people want to save the park. But in 2022, the university insists on breaking ground, and it may actually happen this time. I would just hate to see this park built on. Uh, well, we know that there are certainly those who are opposed to the university's plans to address uh, the student housing crisis. Um, that has not had any impact on our plans. We remain very committed to this project. New housing will be for over a thousand students and community members. Permanent supportive housing is uh, for formerly homeless and very low income individuals uh, so they can live in dignity in the community. The park has been ground zero for community activism and organizing in Berkeley since the 60s. The university always owned the land, but they say housing is needed now more than ever. Only 40% of students live in Berkeley, and Cal houses fewer students than any other UC. So this housing crisis is not a crisis of housing availability or the existence of housing. It's housing affordability and housing accessibility. The community has many questions and concerns. They wonder if they can even afford to live there, where the unhoused community members who currently live there will go, and how those unhoused persons will be treated leading up to construction. On Monday, they showed up at 5 in the morning and told them to move their stuff. They should not be planning on building anything until they have a plan for where people are going. And we're very clear with the residents of the park that no one would be evicted and no one would be forced to leave the park while that work took place. One of the missions of supportive housing is to make that housing deeply affordable. But it wouldn't be People's Park if there wasn't resistance each step of the way. People's Park, we want to make this a good space, not only for the residents, but for everyone in this city. We're not worried about burnout. We're going to be here. Oh, and we're going to be here till the very end. Until this land is Amanda Ramirez. Cal TV News.